I decided I'm gonna try to fix it and not cut it out because that's how you uh you know you don't learn how to do things if you don't try it um I was missing an important step when I was uh heat shrieking um I was heating the panel and then quenching it with the, the rag. Uh, but I went on YouTube and I was looking at heat shrinking uh, how to's. And um, what they do is they heat and then they go from the underside with a dolly and they hammer it down because it all bubbles up and they hammer that down flat. Then they quench it. Uh, it actually, I got it pretty flat and it's not oil cannon anymore. So, now I'm going to take the body file, all the files, not a body file, just a standard file. I don't have a shrinking hammer, so what I'm doing is I'm slapping it with, a, with my homemade dolly beneath. And uh, it seems to be flattening out all the ripples, and it's getting uh, a nice consistency to it. So, I might have saved the panel, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it's definitely going to take fill, it's not going to be a... Uh, just a, a non-fill fix, but I did say to hell with it. I got to give it a shot You know all that screaming you hear in the background is actual city workers doing their job by cleaning all the catch basins uh, We're getting rain today lots of it, so uh, No room for the uh, Water to go so they're cleaning out all the catch basins so We don't have a flooding issue again because I can't go through another one of those because last one was just too much man, so uh I'm happy that they're here and they're actually trying to do their job. All right, so uh, I'm going to try to set the camera up and show you how I've been uh, slapping it. And uh, then we're going to take uh, the file and go across the top and see what the highs are and the lows. And uh, just let me set you up right over here somewhere. Okay, that looks all right. Day off from work today. My... Uh, all the jobs that I have, they're all outdoors, so everything up buried. So, uh, next job that's breaking that's indoors is uh, tomorrow, so I get the day off. So I might as well dick with this thing. I didn't do anything yesterday. Just uh, recovering from shoveling. All right, let me try slapping this thing and show you guys. Just take this.
show you that. It's going to be filled. It's pretty consistent. I'm not getting any better than that. Try to get all this stuff out. Oop, let me zoom you out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's lows and highs, but it's it's not bad. And the big thing is it's not dippy. And it definitely, definitely, definitely is not oil cannon. So that's a good thing. All right. So enough of that foolishness. Uh, we're going to continue on. I'm going to start welding up all the holes and uh, start grinding that, and I'll bring you back when that's done. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Okay. That's about the best I'm going to get it. Um, uh, it's not perfect, but it's it's workable now. It looks like it's high here, but who knows. I'll just feather this back this way and that way. But uh, for the most part, and the most important part of this was the oil canning, which is gone. So I can work this now with mud. It's pretty good. And I'm going to work my way over to the front now. i got to flip this quarter over and stop welding the, uh, the holes. So that's next. All right, so that's, that's done. I salvaged it. Thank God. Uh, there's a lot of work, though. Say it's not an easy process, and these guys that do this type of work, man, hats off. But here's what it is. As it looks, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I get the mud on it. I might have the same problem Rick Fix has on his. He's got highs and lows, and he's he's battling the he's battling the mud game right now. So I'm going to be doing that shortly too. All right. So uh, let me start welding these up. I can grind the rest of this bondo out of here and uh, take it from there. All right, back in a bit. Okay, all made copper uh, piece of pipe flattened out using oh, a pair of vice grips. Let's start filling some holes. Yes, sir. All right, I'm calling it a day. Um, I got all that done, and I started welding more of this. You guys saw in the previous little clips. And I had some uh, blow-throughs. I got to fill these back up, and then I got this whole front section I got to address. And I think this quarter is going to be done. Uh, I'm going to start skimming it, and. Uh, before I do that, there was another section of this fin that was in real bad shape. Let's see if we can flip it around. As you can see, this whole edge is that's your that's flat. This should be all flat. See how it's all creased? It's almost like the hinges of the hood got 
Well, the hood got extended beyond its, uh, its original point, so all this has to be hammered down. So before I do any mud work on this, still got to clean the back side of this and treat it and do all the metal work and bumping, and then we'll we'll start doing skim coat. But other than that, I got to take care of this too, and this looks like it's going to be quite the task. Is it actually took the edge here, see it? And it rolled it, so, and there's a big crease there, but it's inside the hood, but we're going to try to fix it, and uh, all in all, it's, it's actually coming along nice, so, it's actually uh, starting to take shape and starting to look like a fender again, it did before, until you started uncovering all the, uh, the fill, so, we have that, getting there guys, I'm glad, I'm very happy I saved this, so this was going to be a lot of work, so, um, cool, very happy. All right, so I saw uh, SRV Jedi Knight, Damien, name that solo, maybe I'll put one at the end of this one, uh, you name that solo. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Mark from the second gen. To all my brothers out there, be well, be safe. I'm glad everybody made it out okay with that snowmageddon. And uh, now it's rain, rainmageddon. And I'd rather have rain than snow. Just get rid of, well, not too much rain, but enough to get rid of the snow. Guys, be well, be safe. Uh, take your time on your projects. And when they stop feeling like it's a job or a chore, walk away from it. Peace. <laughs>